welcome back to my channel guys in today's video I got a new build I got a 2016 Honda Pilot I got this thing for my wife and the two kids that way there's more room in the back for the car seats so let's go ahead and check it out see the damage and see what's inside and then we'll go from there all right so right off the bat um, here is the main damage pretty much what I see is that um, these little brackets are shifted the frame rails might be shifted um, I will have to check that I could be wrong though but uh, looking by the hood looking by the hood latch right here looks like the frame is most likely shifted go ahead and and um, I will have to do some measurements and then we'll see how bad is it but I mean it doesn't look too bad honestly even if it's a little bit off that's fine I will be able to fix that that's no problem so now let's move on inside and see what we have by the way guys this is the all-wheel drive edition which I really wanted I mean I am in the south but sometimes we do have snow and it would be nice to have all-wheel drive car so here's the inside this is not the leather edition it's a EX model but it's not leather and I seen online they sell some really good leather covers I'm probably just gonna buy them they're about six hundred dollars they're gonna look like real leather seats other than that um, the driver airbag is deployed the roof airbag and for the airbags I think that's it actually the seat airbag is deployed as well so next let's let me show you guys the miles it's got 83,000 miles it is a little bit on the higher side but it's okay I'm planning to keep this SUV I'm not planning to sell it anytime soon oh and the seat belt is blown as well I'm not sure about the passenger side I will check that in a second but looks like there is a bunch of parts back here you open the trunk I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera back there and I'm gonna take everything out All right, so I went ahead and took all the parts out of the trunk. There is actually a good bit of parts in there. Some of them are salvageable, but most of them are damaged. All these right here are salvageable, including that headlight. Seems to be good. There is a little crack on the inside. Uh, let's see if I can find it. It's right, right there. That's fixable. I'm not worried about that. But... Um, other than that the bumper is no good obviously it's gonna have to be replaced some of these parts are salvageable there's the other fog light um, what else we got here turn signal is gonna have to be replaced I mean it's not much stuff that needs to be replaced headlight fender and also I noticed one another thing is that they cut the rear seat belt the car seat was buckled up I don't know why couldn't they just uh, take it off and save me a seat belt but no I guess I gotta buy a new seat belt now but moving on to the front I actually just took some measurements 
this whole front section is shifted that way even looking by all this right here see these brackets are busted I don't know if this radiator is good or not um, if it is good I will try to save these brackets try to um, weld them on here plastic weld and that should hold it in place but if not then I'll just buy a new one and also I will have to buy another piece um, this flare I don't know if I can reuse this one I don't want it to be warped and stuff and then looking at the door there's a little ding right here I think my dentless guy can do that this does have the camera let me show you guys what it looks like I guess it's a pretty good buy overall So pretty much when you're driving down the road and you're trying to um, move over to the right lane. Let's see. There it is. There's a camera on the side. You can turn it on and off. And the only thing, only thing I see that's on is the airbag light everything else is good that's a very good thing let's see if the AC works I want to see if the condenser is good or bad Because if the condenser is good, I will probably try to um, save it. And if not, then I can replace it. Yeah, it's probably no good. I don't feel any cold air coming through. Let's see what we got here. Yeah. Whew. Okay. Well, radiator's good. Yeah, the condenser is no good right here. It's damaged. Alright guys, so with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and take the seat off. That way um, I can get the... Um, airbag replaced and get the seat sewn up so let's go ahead and take it off and also I'll take off the seat belt that way I can send it out while I'm waiting on the rest of the parts um, I can have that ready
All right, guys. I did not have this on camera, but some of you guys may be wondering why did I take all the seats out. Let me show you guys something. The previous owner had some kind of pet. So this whole interior is all in the pet fur. And I am not going to let my wife drive something like this. I'm going to have to clean all that out. And then I'll assemble everything back together. And then we'll continue moving. Also, either way, I had to take them off because I did buy the leather seat covers. They are going to show up here soon. So I'm going to swap the cloth with leather whenever they show up. So now I will continue taking off the seat belt. Alright guys, so I went ahead and took the seat belt out. This is ready to be shipped out. I'll take the um, airbag out of the, out of the seat. I ordered a new one. It should be coming in soon. And I'll ship this seat out to get sold. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for today's video. This project is going to be my top priority because I do want this thing to be done very soon so my wife can have a new car. So probably the next couple of videos, all you guys are going to be seeing is this pilot i hope you guys don't mind it so that's gonna be it for today's video if you're new to the channel be sure to hit the subscribe button like my video share them with your friends and follow me on instagram at rebuild with nick thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next video